Are you thinking about getting into video? Are you a park bench family member and we're looking to do more video interviews? This is going to be a quick video to talk about some of the equipment that we have tested and that we recommend for video, video interviews. You could use this same stuff for your open houses, your virtual tours, you name it. But mainly, as a park bench neighborhood sponsor, we're talking about video interviews here. All right, so the camera is numero uno what you need. And don't think that your phone can't do a good job. The phones today are great. So if you're just getting started and you want to keep costs low, it's okay. Use your smartphone. It's smart for low tech video. Now, if you want to progress and go a little bit higher, then um, you're going to want to look at digital cameras, DSLR cameras, and um, even camcorders because there's something that I've learned the hard way that some DSLR cameras are fantastic for high quality HD video, however short video. If you ever wanna do a 20 minute, 30 minute, 45 minute interview or video where you're just recording the entire time, the DSLR cameras are so high quality that they might shut off um, so a camcorder is recommended. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you online some of the things to look at. Okay, so we're going to open up, okay, Amazon, eBay, and Newegg for the Canadians out there are my go-to sites to look for technology and to browse different prices. So if I'm looking for a DSLR or a digital camera, I could be going to Amazon looking to find stuff, looking for best sellers, right? The great thing about technology is you can just sort by customer reviews, okay? The specs, you know, for cameras, you can, you can, you can show the settings that you wanna look at, price, price points, okay? The Canon PowerShot um, is definitely, if you do the research, one of the favorites. The Canon PowerShot, there's different levels, are definitely one of the favorites. Um, if you're looking at camcorders, okay, um, the the definitely popular ones that if you look online, you look at the reviews. Let's see if Amazon shows it. Again, Canon's a great brand, but there's a Sony that's also really popular, or the EOS. Okay, so camcorders digital cameras, and the one that Park Bench uses for short videos, DSLRs, okay, so you got, here we go, the EOS, okay, Nikon, we here at Park Bench, you use the Nikon uh, D5600, okay, so yeah, look, look at the price points, like it's higher, okay, but this is what you got to do if you want to do good video, okay, so mid-tech, get a digital camera, High tech, get a DSLR or camcorder, all right, for your interviews and for your videos. Next, we got tripods, okay? So if you're using your phone, there's lots of cool tripods out there for your phone, and I'll show you some in a sec that we use, all right? There's also tripods that if you're doing video where you're standing up, you're going to need a tripod that's big enough, okay, for stand-up videos. Okay, so if you're going to do a tripod, you can get a smartphone tripod. All right, again, you're going to look at some of the best sellers out there. They're cheap, you know, they're 20 bucks, 30 bucks. Okay, some come with little, you know, uh, buttons for, for Bluetooth so you can stop and start it, you know, away from the camera. Okay, I know we've used Amazon Basics before, which was good. Always check phone sizes. I've made the mistake of buying tripods where it didn't fit the size of my phone because I got a, a big plus, iPhone Plus. Okay, so always make sure you make you, it is compatible with your phone. 
All right. Um, but again, like these are good for if you're doing video with your phone, which again, like I said, your phone and the phones are getting better constantly. Every year, the, the camera quality is getting better on the phones. So don't feel the need um, to get a camera at the beginning. But once you soup up and get something bigger, you're going to want to look at the heavy duty tripods. And again, the, these are investments for your brand. These are investments for your business. Okay. Don't go cheap on tripods. Okay. These are, these are table tripods, which could be good for table interviews, but you're going to want to get standing tripods. Okay. Um, the one that we use here at park bench is the one I showed you in the picture Vanguard. It works like a gem and it's an Amazon choice. Okay. Great tripod right here. Again, compare prices on different websites, shop around electronics, get shipped to you. So shop around, make sure the specs have everything you need. All right. The microphone is underestimated. All right. I learned the hard way again. I thought the DSLRs and the digital cameras had a microphone in it. I thought the phone, the phone does have a microphone in it, but the quality of that audio is just not as good is if you add on a microphone and, and people are listening to things, you know, you know, when you're watching YouTube, you might be doing something else in the same time. So the audio is what keeps them engaged. If they're not looking at the video, right? If you're doing, if you're doing a, a video and you want to repurpose that content in more platforms, like a podcast, you can extract the audio from your video to, for a podcast, which is all audio. So you're definitely going to want to make sure you have good audio. Um, with your video and good audio for your podcast. So again, you can get stuff for your phone. This is the recommended one. Okay. Rode R O D E is, um, the, the popular microphone company. Okay. So you got the, the video mic pro for the digital cameras and the DSLRs, and then you've got the the me, the little guy. Okay. The little guy for your iPhones. All right. So again, it's so important. All right. Don't go out for dinner one week, get a good microphone for, you know, your, your smartphone. And, uh, you know, when you're thinking about buying a pair of shoes, don't get, get the road pro for your DSLR. All right. Invest in your business and provide good engaging media for your audience. All right. Now the final thing, which is only needed. All right. If you're going to do interviews in a controlled environment, like say for instance, you've got a really nice living room. If you've got a really nice office or whatever, and you want to bring people in to do these interviews in a controlled environment, maybe it's, maybe it looks really nice. Right. And, and, and you tell them you're going to give them some free food and drinks by coming. Okay. So this is where you can induce lighting. All right. Now you can get portable lights and you could pop, pop up lighting in a, in a business owner's store, you know, or their office. Um, because lighting is important, you know, go on YouTube and look at, you know, basic lighting and advanced lighting for video. And, and there's lots of cool tutorials out there. All right. Here in the picture, it shows you if your video camera is shooting on you or you and a person, then you want to have two cameras at diagonal formats. And then if you're going to add other ones, you have one coming from behind you and one going onto the backdrop. Okay. But, but this is really advanced. Just th just think about if I'm doing a video out in the public, out in the, in the world, I want to do it daytime. I want to do it when there's as much light as possible. All right. Most people won't expect you and, and it's okay if all of a sudden you don't have, you know, your own lights. But if you do want to get lighting because you want to make the video really good, if you want to go advanced, okay, then you just got to go online, type in video lighting and there's lots of different kits out there. Now, one thing that I learned the hard way that I'm going to give you as a tip, if you're doing video, if you want lights for video, make sure here's an example of a really high quality light that you could add to your DSLR if you're shooting video in the public. Now, if you're in a controlled format and you want to get video going, 
okay? Then you're going to want to find lights with more than one light inside of it. Let me see if I can find one here. Um, I'll just bring up my last order. On Amazon to show you. No, oh, wrong account. Okay, so so if you if you well that's not right. Okay, multi light video lighting. You want to find one. Let's check this one out. Perfect. This one's got it. Okay, so see how inside the light, there's multiple light bulbs, okay? Photography lights only usually have one in it because that's usually all you need for photo because there's also, uh, you know, the lighting on the camera for it. For video, you want way more lighting, okay? So it's pretty much the same price, maybe a little bit more. So just make sure you buy the lights with lots of bulbs included. Okay, and that's the essentials, right? Like the software comes standard on your computer. If you want to go advanced, get Adobe Final Cut, right? But that's real complicated. I, you know, I've, I've tried learning that on my own and, uh, and, it, and it definitely takes a person who's really passionate about video and needs to do video. For me, I had to graduate and that's why I, I got it and stayed up for two hour, two days straight, literally to learn it and figure it out and create a two minute video. Um, so, Keep things simple, okay? Record video with some device. Usually you can't go wrong with the camera these days, all right? But if you wanna get good video, get a DSLR or get a camcorder. Probably a camcorder because your interviews will be long. Get a tripod so that you can stabilize the video so you don't have to worry about you know, holding it. Get a good microphone so the audio is better for the video and for your podcast. Repurpose that same content, that same time you're doing to multiple channels, okay? And if you wanna do videos inside of a room, pick up some lighting and make sure the lighting has multiple bulbs. All right, hopefully that was a good quick tutorial to help you create amazing video that you can promote because video is the number one, right, form of content online.